Hey there, in this video, we're gonna look at some fancy timeline editing. Uh, let's first of all recap some of the uh, editing from the source window when you're kind of dumping it onto the timeline first, just so we know where that is. Then we'll do some rearranging of the timeline. Okay, from the source window, we wanna add stuff to the timeline. We know, I've set some in and out points. We can, you know, up here, we can use the button. Oh, the long way. Okay, you might love the long way, it's fine. <laughs> Clicking a button's not long, uh, but you can see there in the brackets is a shortcut, so it is comma. Okay, and it'll do an insert edit. You can drag from here. I'm gonna just drag in, I'm just dragging the video because I don't want the audio. I'm dragging this and I can hold down a shortcut. Okay, and hold down the command key. Can you see the command key changes the, I'm gonna turn it on and off. Okay, normally it just goes over the top. Okay, but if you drag this down and hold down the command key on a Mac, control key on a PC, and it will do an insert edit. All the same thing, everybody's covered. Button people, shortcut people, holding down draggy people. One thing I do wanna throw in there though for, I don't know, I forget this most myself is watch this, I can drag it and you can actually do them all without remembering the shortcuts. Okay, you can just actually insert before. Okay, undo, uh, over here I wanna put it over the top. No source patching, oh man, or oh, track targeting, sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of really handy as well. Uh, you could uh, override, replace. Remember we held that shortcut earlier on? So let's say that I've got this and I wanna switch. Let's, oh, what are we doing? Shortcuts going everywhere. Uh, select this. Okay, we wanna switch this one out. Okay, we drag it down. And then we did this one, we held down the option key on a Mac, alt key on a PC, and it switches it. And you're like, oh, that's cool. Okay, what I should have showed you back then is, okay, with it selected here, I can actually just go override. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna go replace. Okay, and it switches it out. Okay, so those are a bunch of like editing techniques uh, for, you know, from your source footage onto your timeline. What about when you're actually on your timeline? You're like, uh, I want this to move around and like, I don't know, have you ever done this? Okay, I've done this loads. You're like, okay, I want you first. I go, yep, yeah, you're a different size. How are you go along there? No problem. <laughs> and you down there. You laughing because you've done it. All right, to avoid those sorts of shenanigans, uh, I'm gonna show you how to switch them using shortcuts. And if you are finding like, oh my goodness, there's been so many shortcuts. How will I ever remember? I get asked that all the time. And you won't remember them all. I don't remember them all. I know a lot because I teach it. But um, what you need to do is just write down the ones Pers you know, the ones that you think are gonna work for you, okay? And know that the rest of them will exist and you don't have to remove them off by heart because you'll be doing a job, you're like, oh, wasn't there a way? You can come back to this video, figure it out, but you know it exists, okay? So this one here is kinda handy. Uh, so we wanna switch these two A's at the front, Z's here. You need to say, change the position. Great for videos or like say images that you've all got kind of stacked up on the timeline. Hold down the command key on a Mac plus the option key. And on a PC, it is control and alt. Okay, so hold those two down. And then so Z, let's change A over here. So I'm gonna click, hold and drag it. Okay, and what you naturally wanna do is kind of do that. And nothing changes. You're like, hey, A still at the front. What you need to do is put it after. So I need to go over this side. Okay, and that will switch it. That's kind of a little unnatural. Okay, but now you know. Going back the other way, and the same thing, it needs to be kind of like way after, not on top of, and then it will switch them back. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Okay, when you're coming back, just stick it at the front. Uh, I know, strange. And to be honest, I do that every single time. <laughs> I've re-recorded this video a couple of times because I know it and I know the shortcut, but I first instance, I always just go like this and go, it's not working. Oh, why is it not working? <laughs> Same with going this way. Why is it doing something weird? It takes me a second, but often I'm rearranging quite a lot and it's worth kind of trying to remember what it is. And what it's not, it's not really switching them, like trading, uh, you know, trading places. It's just kind of like moving this one here and pushing the rest of them along. What I mean by that is, let's zoom out on my timeline. So I've got tourism, let's say B here and Z at the end. They're not gonna trade places, if you know what I mean. So hold down my two keys. You remember, Command, Option on a Mac, uh, Control, Alt on a PC. I click, hold, and drag it, and see B's at the front here. It's not gonna go to the end. B just gets shuffled along, okay, along the little groups there. And that's just, it's worth remembering if you are doing a big job with lots of B-roll or lots of images. It's super handy. One last thing is you can do an insert edit down here in your timeline rather than you know up here. Uh, just hold down the control key on a PC, the command key on a Mac. Okay, so I'm going to 
move you down to here. Okay, and what you'll notice is that it moves it down, pushes these guys along, okay, but leaves a big hole. I have no use for that. You might, you might be like, phew, there's that insert, edit, pushy, leave a big hole thing for you. Okay, so uh, the one I use the most, member is Command Option for Mac, Control Alt for PC, and I hope you found something in there useful for your kind of on the timeline editing, plus a recap of some of the kind of like insert edits here from the Essentials course and kind of earlier on as well. All right, on to the next video. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do wanna go further with Premiere Pro, you might wanna join me for my larger courses, okay, called Premiere Pro Essentials and Premiere Pro Advanced. There'll be links for both of those in the description. Hope to see you in the course. Bye.